Before we go further, there's something about economics that you need to understand. The point of ex economics is to understand how the world works, which is the point of several other things in this world, such as biology and history and all of that. So they want, to, in order to understand how that world works, they need to um, be able to look at just one or two things at a time. So if you're familiar with um, science class, you only want to have one or two variables. So write this down. In order to do this, e economists must be able to look at specific parts of things without other things getting in the way. Like in science class, you only want to work with one variable or you won't know what caused a change. So in order to do that, economists use a term called ceteris paribus, meaning all other things are held constant or stay the same. The best way that I can describe this is by thinking of somebody holding a baseball in their hand and throwing it up. Is it safe to say after that person throws the baseball up into the air, it will come down back to the ground? Well, yes, we can say that. Okay, so now there's going to be that person who will raise their hand in my class and they'll say, well, no, what if the baseball was attached to a rocket launcher and it went into outer space? Or what if I came and caught the baseball before it hit the ground? Or what if it landed on a table and it didn't come down to the ground? And we're taking away all those what ifs. In a normal situation, if I was standing in a room and I throw a baseball up into the air, it's going to come back down, comma, ceteris paribus, meaning all of the other things are remaining equal. So in economics, sometimes we take these complicated, complicated things. We want to boil them down to something that is understandable, something that isn't so complicated. And in order to do that, we have to take away all of those what ifs. Not that we never look at the what ifs, but when we're trying to get a basic concept down, we ignore the what ifs for a while, which will lead us into the law of demand. All right, I hope you wrote all that down. I hope you understand it. Thank you.